the largest road header in the U.S. to date, grinds away at the eastern portal of the fourth floor of the Caldecott Tunnel east of Oakland, California. After 23 weeks, contracted Tuta Saliba is roughly 260 meters into the top heading of the 990 meter long by 12 and a half meter wide two-lane road tunnel. Yeah, I think we are making good progress. The ground is as anticipated. Axel Nitschke with Gal Zeidler Consultants is lead NATAM expert on the project. So in this, in this current section where we're just coming from, we had uh, uh, the design for saw 90% support category 1B with 1.8 meters uh, advanced length and 10% 3A with 1 meter uh, advanced length. However, we were able to handle all critical situations with additional measures and there was never a necessity to switch into the worst support category 3A. Subcontractor Foxfire is preparing the west portal for excavation and is currently installing the pipe canopy. This area which we are bridging with the pipe canopy is definitely the worst uh, ground we have on the whole project. So we will start with the support category 4 which is bridged with uh, the pipe canopy and the top heading with enclosed uh, shaft grade inward and a 1 meter advance length for advance. Tudor Saliba won the contract with a bid of $215 million, some 20% below the engineer's estimate. The Natum Tunnel is being excavated through challenging ground conditions of mostly weathered material and mixed faces. The potentially gassy conditions of the tunnel bars much of the electronic or computerized equipment common on many tunneling projects. There is no guidance system on the road header, and the shockcrete robots and drill rigs are all air pressure machines. So whenever you see a uh, uh, computer here at, at Caldecott, it has to be encapsulated, or it has to be explosion proof. It is a huge struggle to get, uh, to get the equipment permissible. As the 130-ton Verth road header continues from the east, excavation is expected to begin from the west portal in three to four weeks. The team has really grown together on, on the contractor side, on the owner side, and uh, we are building up, I think, a, a wonderful team to move the project forward. Looking east, the tunnel is being constructed just to the left of the third bore. When complete in late 2013, it will relieve congestion along this notorious bottleneck. In Oakland, Paula Wallace for TunnelTalk.com.